Hey everyone, so before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to let you know that my brand new watercolor booklet is out now in my Etsy shop. It's all on spring florals, how to paint five different types of flowers, greenery, color mixing, tips on composition for florals, and basic strokes. So if you want to pick up your own digital copy, head on over to the link in the description below, go on over to my Etsy shop, and go pick up your copy now. Let's jump into the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple line and wash floral drawing and painting. So let's do it! Okay, so today we're doing a very simple and fun line and wash drawing slash painting. I'm going to be drawing a really pretty um, simple floral arrangement with my pencil, then I'm going to outline it with some ink, and then I'm going to do a really simple and fun watercolor wash, okay? So we're going to start with our pencil, and we're going to draw a peony type. So let's draw a circle just to help us start, which is going to be kind of like the center of that peony. And we're just going to start doing some petals kind of folding over like that. One is going to come actually here all the way that way and we'll have one coming up here like it's folding over in and then one folding over in this way okay and then you can just do some little folds like this like there are more petals tightly crammed in there and then we are going to do some coming apart like coming off of the peony okay so we're going to have a petal here and then to create the illusion that the petal is folding you're just going to do another line and that's going to be like that petal has kind of curved up. If that makes sense. All right. And you can just use that technique to show some dimension. Okay. And we're just doing some wavy kind of petals. Maybe it's folding a bit on this side. Okay. These are the petals kind of falling down from that bud shape. And then as we get over here, you're not going to see those folds as much. So maybe just have it flat like that. Maybe there's another one over here. You can do a slight fold. Okay, this one's curved up a bit. Another one there. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of just winging it. I'm just doing some curvy petal shapes like that okay and then when we go over it with ink it will it will look a bit more intense and more realistic um i'm just going to erase this one i don't know if i really like that one there maybe just make it a little smaller like that and then i'm going to do some anemones on either side we're just making this a simple simple one so we're going to do a petal shape like this one, another one, curved, and another one. And then the one that's down here is kind of folded up. So you're just going to do kind of like a U shape like that. And then we're going to do the center with the ink after. Maybe we'll do another petal there. No. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't turn out. I'm not going to pretend like it does every time anyway. Okay. Um, like that. Okay, and then we'll do one on the other side. I'm just gonna flip this around so I can get that, because it's kind of like a side view that you're seeing of the anemone. Okay, so actually I'm gonna start with the bottom petals that would be shorter here. So you're gonna do kind of like a U shape, like that, and then bring it in. Maybe I'll do one right across from it. Another one. And another one that would be folded like that. Like that. Okay, and we're going to put some greenery around these, these flowers. So I'm just going to do some stems and some leaf shapes coming from these flowers. Okay, and I think I can do most of them with the ink. I just want to plot down the flowers. Okay, just to get an idea. So now I'm going to go in with ink. I have my 
Mono Drawing Pen by Tombow. It's a size 03. And I'm just gonna go over the drawing. Okay, and so just before I finish, um, just a little tip for these smaller leaf shapes. Um, so I'll do a line and then back further from that line, not from the tip, that's where I'll put the leaf. So you get a little bit of that vein in the leaf. Okay, just a little tip for that. And then for the center of these anemones, I'm just going to fill it in with some circular shapes and then I'm going to do some lines and put some little circles on the edges of those lines. Okay, and so for the last part of this, we're just gonna do a little bit of detail on this peony here. We're just gonna add a bit of shading with our pen. So as where those, the places where the petals are tightly kind of together, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading and line. And then from the base of the petals, I'm gonna add some lines as well. So the base, just a bit. And then just have some of those lines curving with the petal. You don't want them straight, you want them to curve with the petal, so. Not a lot of detail for this, but just where those petals meet, kind of like the ones that are behind, add a little bit of shadow behind there, like that. And then maybe even a couple lines at the tip of some of the petals, like that. Now we are going to add a couple to the anemones as well just coming from the center. Again, curving with those petals, like that. Like that, and now we're gonna erase all the pencil lines underneath. Okay, so now that our line drawing is done, we are going to add the watercolor part. I am going to use my professional watercolors over here, and we're gonna make this very, very simple. Um, I'm not even going to really add detail. I'm just gonna lay down some water like this. Let's start with the peony over the whole peony. And I'm just gonna drop in some color. So I think I'm gonna add some permanent rose and I'm gonna make it darker towards the center. Might wash off some, just drag it out a bit but we're not making it specific or realistic. We're kind of just letting the color do its thing. Okay, so I'm doing a light wash around. I'm gonna grab more color, put it in the center maybe where those um, under petals are. Just dropping in the color, just making it fun. Nothing crazy. Then I'm gonna wash off my brush and I'm gonna actually go outside the lines a bit. Then I'm going to do the same with the anemone. So I think I'm going to add some orange. It's going to be more of an orangey anemone. So I'm going to do light wash or you could just do water and they're going to bleed together because it's all wet, but it's just more of like a, not an abstract look, but just it's less, it's a lot looser. So you have the structure of the, the line drawing and then the looseness of the watercolor. Okay. I'm going to actually add some water over these leaves and then I can add some green in there too. Just dropping some green. Like that. Grabbing some more of that orangey color. Like that. Okay. 
like, let's just go over all of this. <laughs> I love how you can probably hear my son in the background. It's snack time, he's asking for cheese. <laughs> Just gonna drop in that green. And just have fun with it. Just don't be too specific, don't Think about it, just drop in that color. I might take up some of that edge a bit. That's my son calling his dog, our dog Ollie. He's obsessed with him. He simply doesn't call him, he yells for him. It's very important to yell for him. Add some pink in there maybe. Yeah, let's add some pink towards the center. Have that bleed. Like that. And just have fun with it. And it's okay if the green bleeds into parts of the flower. I wouldn't mix it around because then you'll get kind of like a brownish color. But if they bleed into each other, that's totally fine. It's a kind of a cool effect. Okay, and there you go. Very simple line and wash watercolor painting drawing. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day guys, bye.